Welcome to another edition of Lean Bites, a bite-sized demonstration of a lean topic. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Paul Dean, and in today's edition of Lean Bites, we're going to look at simple problem solving. In particular, just do it. I'm sure you've seen this diagram before, but if you've ever picked apples from a tree, I'm sure you'll agree with me that the easiest apples to pick are those on the ground, assuming they're okay. Then the next easiest apples to pick are those within reach. The higher you go up into the apple tree requires a more sophisticated picking method, like a ladder or a cherry picker. The same applies with problem solving. The bulk of the problems that you'll encounter from day to day are in this realm of Just Do It and PDCA. We call these low hanging fruit. The more complex problems require a more sophisticated problem solving method like a domain. So I'm gonna cover the simplest method today, Just Do It, using three steps. Examine the facts, make a judgment, and do something. So let's get started. Now the first step is examine the facts. Stay cool, examine the facts, and don't let emotion control the situation. Look at unbiased data, it can be quantitative or qualitative, coming from observation, measurements, interviews, focus group surveys, or other feedback. And a very important tip here is data is very important because it gives us the direction we need to take. And step number two is where we make a judgment. We collaborate as a team and we ask ourselves, what is the data telling us? And how are we interpreting the data? Then allows us to form a hypothesis or a theory on what's causing the problem. Maybe we might have to gather more data and test our theory, but don't spend too long on this because the problem may get bigger. After examining the facts and building our hypothesis or theory, it's time for our final step. Step three, do something. This is where we determine the actions that are required to solve the problem, what's going to be done, who is the owner of that action, when is it due, and after we put that action into place, we monitor the outcome. This is to make sure that our actions are effective. So just in recapping the three points, the first one is examine the facts. Stay cool, don't let emotion control the situation. The second one is make a judgment. Collaborate as a team, gather the unbiased data, determine the theory, work out what's going to solve the problem. And the third one is do something. Carefully put into place those actions that you've agreed as a team and monitor their outcome as you go. I hope this has been very helpful and thank you for joining me on this edition of Lean Bites.